Hey, it's uh, 2012, uh, July 18th. We're just out here, Justin and I, uh, doing some scouting and checking some of our trials before field day, uh, sure growth, agatrin field day tomorrow, swallowing uh, mosquitoes out here. Um, so we're just uh, in this field here. We got our maps from our trials, and what we did, if you just look across, we did um, we did uh, variable rate, our rate, variable rate uh, fertilizer and seed um, plan versus a flat rate of 100 pounds N versus a high rate of N um, and higher rate of, of fertilizer. And then we actually sprayed a uh, plant growth regulator across all the trials. They replicated twice just to see um, see how that would turn out. So right now you can see on this map here, we're standing in between the green and the blue areas. And the green is a variable rate application and the blue is a high rate. So if we just look over here um, at, uh, you know, obviously this is a high rate end here and it's, it's quite lodged. And it was interesting because we took an image of this field and we saw the darker strips, darker green, green strips and lighter strips. And we at first obviously assumed the darker green was the high rate of N. And, but then we got out here and started looking and checked our, our, where we had our strips. And actually the darker green is a variable rate. And the, the high rate of nitrogen obviously you can see is quite lodged. If you turn around and look the other way, you can see where the plant growth regulator is applied. It's standing much better. But the most dramatic thing that we saw when we came out here, this, um, this field was uh, sprayed with headline at flag. It actually has a dual treatment of fungicide. And then we came in at fusarium timing, uh, the optimal timing with Prezero. And uh, what we can see very dramatically in the, in the high rate of N here, just a, a lot of leaf disease um, a, a lot of disease and what we've always been told is that you know you need to keep your plant in balance and if you have too much N and you don't have enough K or your ratios aren't in balance you're not going to have as healthy as a plant and you might have more disease um, because of that and and this is kind of a dramatic example of that and if we just go over here and take a look um, in the in the, the variable rate side, it's um, it definitely has some disease too, but the levels of disease are dramatically less, and uh, and overall the crop is very even with the variable rate, and uh, you know it actually looks at this point much better. So it'll be interesting to see what the yields come out and the quality, but. Uh, just some pretty exciting and interesting things that we found when we came out here tonight.